Alright, so create a new file and fill the background with a nice dark radial gradient. Make sure this is set to radial and this is set to foreground to background. And just click in the middle of your canvas and drag out. Now select the text tool and set your foreground color to a nice light green and type your text. Now move the text into the center of your canvas, select the text tool again, click on your text, and click path from text. This creates a path that flows along around the edges of your letters, which we'll use later to add various effects. For now, let's turn on the opacity of our text to 60% and add a drop shadow. So filters, light and shadow, drop shadow, two pixel offset, 20 pixel blur radius at 80% opacity and uncheck allow resizing. Click OK. Now create a new layer and we're going to add a sort of inner glow effect. So as I said, create a new layer, set your foreground color to a yellowish green, really light color, then select from path. This is where the path comes in handy. And feather your selection, select feather at 10 pixels. Now fill this selection with that yellowish green color and select shrink by 2 pixels. Click OK and edit clear. So now you have this sort of inner glow. Select none and set this glow layer mode to screen at about 50% opacity. Now let's make the centers of the letters dark. So create another layer and set your foreground color to black. Select from path again and shrink by 8 pixels. Now select feather at 10 pixels again. Now your selection will seem to disappear except for a little part, but now fill it and you can see that it still shows up even though you can't see your selection. Select none and set your layer mode to overlay. Now we're almost done. All, all it needs is a uh, gloss over it. So create a new layer, transparency, select from path then select the circular select tool or, or ellipse select tool and go into the options and set the mode to intersect. Now draw a semicircle over half of your text like this. You should get a selection that looks like that. Now set your foreground and back foreground color to white and select your gradient tool. Set the gradient to foreground to transparent and the shape to linear and drag from the top to bottom select none and turn down the opacity of your gloss layer and you're done